ride or die Guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the countryside of the UK. We have Jason. All right, mate. Hello, mate. On your phone. Living Sorry, the dream. Yeah, just replying to some messages. It's understandable. What we're actually going to do though is go over to this because this is why we've come out today and we are going to enjoy a bit of content on this car today. This is a Harrier tribute car that. Yes, running in RS2 that does gear, mean running gear. It's it's a hell of a car. Hell of a car. This. Don't get me wrong. This isn't authentic. I'm going to say from the start, it it's isn't a, a genuine Mark. car, it's a but... It's a modified Mark II Escort with some Harrier stripes. Yes. I think is the best way to That's put it. That's what we're starting with. We're saying that right now. We'll get out of the road because of cars and stuff. But we're saying that straight away. This is not a genuine... Uh, I think they made, I, I read up on the old Googles, a thousand white ones, yeah. if I'm correct, and 500 silver. Yeah. So there's 1,500 yeah. Harris. Yeah. Now, let's just point that bit out. That is horrendously rare. So this car, if it was a genuine one, would be thousand, Don't even any know. amount of money, Don't basically. Yes, it could be, at this rate, it'd probably be like a million pound because cars are expensive. So, this isn't that car, but it is a perfect example of a Mark II the way I would have it. Two litre Pinto with that uh, twin 40s on it, what a noise. It makes the noise, doesn't it? As yeah. you guys would have already heard at the start of the video. We'll have a quick tour around it. Rally lights up front because every Mark II should have that. In my opinion, every yeah. single one of them should have. RS4 spokes, diamond cut finish. Yeah, they lowered as well. It yeah. looks like it's Just lowered. Nice car. Recaro fishnet interior. I was going to say, look at this, look at this interior. Absolutely stunning. It's mint condition as well. Absolutely stunning. And the Harrier stripes. RS boot lid spoiler, yep. I think we were saying. And coming around the back, black bumpers, white paint. Gen you like this, didn't you? That's a bit of you. Very much a bit, That's a bit you, you like that, didn't you? Bournemouth yeah. dealer. Oh, hello. Yeah, nice. Very, very nice. And yeah, it just actually, if we just come back a bit, it's stanced really nicely. As we have the newer age uh, focus coming past there, lovely. Yeah, it stances really, really nicely. It's lowered just right, the right amount of thickness on oh, the old nice uh, too, thing. Yeah, we drove here, and you'll see that in a minute. The drive is really, really nice. I really like this car. Me too. Keep right. talking about Mark II's, mate. It's, yeah, it's a level, a rear wheel drive level. It's a car that does skid. It's a car that does skid. <laughs> Mate, she goes well, doesn't she? She does. Boy, look behind me, look at this net stuff. In the, in the headrest, that's that's the stuff, in it? That's the, the coolest thing ever. The interior is such a lovely place to be as well. Custom just there, look at this. Radio, of era radio, what is that, an 80s number? Must be, uh, isn't it? I think that's a little bit newer than that. Oh, it looks, it looks good either way, 90s maybe. We've got quite a big centre console, actually. These seats are mega comfy, mate. They're lovely, They're aren't lovely, they? aren't they? The rear seats are mint condition as well, roof lining. Look at this. Oh, she is lovely. We even have a genuine Ford clock. Lovely bit of kit. Mate, smashing B roads in an Escort. Yes, lad. It sounds so good. You know, the engine actually works and revs really freely, doesn't it? Mate, it sounds so good. It's got a lot of torque actually for a um, for an older engine. It's got a lot of low down. You don't really need to rev it madly to actually get going, which is quite a nice thing. The roar of this engine is on another level. It sounds so good. <laughs> Two litre Pinto, mate. What a bit of gear. Do you know what the 
most hilarious thing is, right, and I don't know if the camera is really capturing this, we're not actually breaking the speed limit at the moment, but it's making so much of its power and its presence and its sound, like it makes you feel like you're going so much faster. <laughs> Mate, you can even hear it going up the road. It sounds so good, man. It sounds so good. What a hell of a car, mate. The noise, the presence. Woo! I'm about it, mate. I, I just think this is, this is definitely up there, this thing. Definitely up there. Mate, it sounds nuts, but actually the nuts. It's crazy. You a big fan, mate? Massive fan. You're about this car, aren't you? I'm I'm so about it as well. I know we like our RS turbos, don't get me wrong, but these are another this, level. This is a level, in it? It's a rear-wheel drive level that I really, really appreciate. I love rear-wheel drive stuff. It makes me feel nice inside. It's got a quick rack in it. Yeah, so nice. Incredibly hard to steer. Yeah. Very oh yeah, look at that. Nice. She is sharp, really sharp, actually. That's one of the best yeah. things about this. Wow, yeah. You don't get that in the RS Turbo. No. You don't get that in the, at all. That is, that's something we'll point out right now. We know the RS Turbo game, especially Series 1, and like that's really, really impressive how quick that is. Yeah, just turning in is just like... Such a joy, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know, you realise after being in one of these how easy it is to go sideways in one. If that was that good in a rally stage, say, and you were coming around this corner and it was that quick to turn in, no wonder the back end's come out. No wonder they are rally legends. Yeah, you can tell just by us, you know, perusing around the UK roads, you can tell that there's definitely something going on under here and it's a, it's a very point and squirt up front with the rear end sort of dashing about. And to be honest, if you had any more power than this, it would be pretty uncontrollable, if I'm honest. It would be a hard car to keep in a straight line. Yes, 100%. It would be a little bit harder than um, just putting your foot down because it would come out so much. Yeah, I mean, it's just nice. Yeah, I'm impressed with that front end, mate. Four on the floor, so. Four uh, on the floor, look at that. We're 60 mile an hour, 3,500 RPM. Yeah, right up there, look at that. <laughs> but the, these cars weren't built for long distance motorway journeys and all that sort of business. They were built to be hit for a B road. Yes, for these conditions, B road bashing and just thoroughly enjoying. We're having to really raise our voices. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna say that's wrong. That's 100% wrong. Because there's no way we're going into these corners at that speed. We are doing 55 maximum. Yeah, I'm not, in, I'm not, I'm saying that's not, that's not true. <laughs> but, that's, you don't need to look at that. You just go forward and enjoy yourself. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's lovely though, no crazy rattles or anything. I just want to thank Russell though um, for letting me and offering me to drive it. Yes. Um, so he called me up after he dropped it off and went, before you wash it, please go out and put some miles on it. And I was yeah. really shocked at that. And I just want to thank him in the video. Yeah, and I want to thank you as well, mate, because now I've been able to show you guys that are watching this how good this car is. 2022, we are out here enjoying it, and um, that's sometimes the best thing ever. Last year, I think we did have a, a laugh about a possible deal. Oh. But oh. I mean, it's not going to happen, but yeah. I know he's off, let me have a drive because he knows I'll like it. <laughs> I like, mate, I like what you're doing there. Yeah. Okay, that's Smart. what's going on here. So this is a, a pre-sales drive, is it? A test drive. A uh, test drive, nice, yeah, I like that. But in all fairness, I would have this in a heartbeat. I think it's fantastic, it's well built. Someone's done a really good job at just making this car very, very nice. Yeah, and mate I'd, I'd have a mark ii in a heartbeat right now i love these cars i just think they're they're so nice yeah. and to find a sorted one i'm telling you expensive you guys know that but they've become even more expensive these days because covid and stuff Let's go to the local post office we'll go to the post office yes we'll go check my bank balance oh well why Let's not see how much just... one of these is yeah so see if we can pull <laughs> some money out and go and buy one these were like 800 quid weren't they or something oh yeah back in the day yeah back in the day this is an 800 quid car now it's definitely not an 800 quid car such a shame but into the local post office we go oh, it's
leaving the post office in style there. It's it's actually just such a nice car. It feels complete. It feels like someone's really, really loved it at some point. And yeah, I'm about it. We're gonna Russell, good Russell's it. had it for five years. Has he? Oh, yeah, so the owner's so owned it for five years. He's That's been doing cool. a lot to it over yeah. the time. That's quite nice. At least he's uh, he's keeping it, mate. It's not for sale, is it? Uh, I don't think so. Oh mate, it sounds so good. Them engines, man, it sounds so good. I know it's not uh, an exact car, exact replica, and it's got this and it's got that different, but mate, I appreciate all of these cars and how nice they are. Yes, what a day out in this thing. Absolutely stunning bit of kit. And yes, I know there'll be people in the comments like, that's not right, this is not right. It says a two litre and it's a 1.6 from factory on the Harriers. And I appreciate that, but I also appreciate that this car is on the road and being driven and we got to uh, take it out and thoroughly enjoy it. And yeah, this is just such a nice thing to bring to the channel. Just go out and enjoy, take down some B-roads, enjoy, enjoy that engine up front with just running gear, wheels, the colour, the space, the noise inside here is just such with these uh, nets here. Mate, I am so about these cars. Really, really is an appreciation. Just more than anything, this video is an appreciation of this car and going in it. And, you know, we own RS Turbos. We enjoy the RS Turbos, but it's always nice to jump in, you know, a 70s, late 70s model Escort and see what these are about, especially where you have so many new cars out there. It's always nice to bring something like this to the channel. So thank you so much to the uh, owner of this car. Yeah, he literally said, go and enjoy it. So I appreciate him for that. And obviously Jason as well for taking us out and uh, yeah bringing this to the channel was one of those things when I knew it was coming in I was just like please let us go out on it so yeah really really excited to bring this to the channel but thank you so much for watching guys if you did like this video please give it a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't we will see you guys tomorrow